I don't know if you've ever asked yourself the question, but why is it that female birds often look something like this, while their male counterparts look more like this? Well, the answer lies with the theory of sexual selection. Most of you have probably heard of natural selection, the filter that allows only the genes of successful individuals to survive. When we talk about success or fitness, what we mean is simply living long enough for an individual to successfully reproduce, thereby passing his or her genes on to the next generation. In the case of animals, this applies to physical attributes such as speed and agility and to behaviour. However, if this is right, we should be able to explain the bright colours of peacocks in terms of some survival advantage it confers, but there really doesn't seem to be one. This is where the theory of sexual selection kicks in, because if we're going to pass on our genes, yes we need to survive, but we also need to attract a mate. Coming back to the peacock, let's imagine that sometime in the past the peacock's male ancestors were drab coloured like the females. What if, at some point in evolutionary history, one male was slightly more colourful than the others? and that as a consequence he caught the eye of the lassies. This lucky guy would get loads more opportunities to mate than his rivals, and because he's a male, he can afford to gad about. His investment in offspring is pretty limited compared to that of the female, even if we just consider an egg versus sperm. So this male gets to produce several offspring. Provided the next generation of females were also attracted to a bit of colour, his male offspring would be more likely to have lots of mates too. Following this through, such a selective advantage for brighter males could lead to a runaway process where males would keep getting brighter and gaudier with each generation. Even females who buck the trend would be at a disadvantage because if they chose to mate with plainer males, they risk producing drab sons who would be less likely to be picked as mates in their turn. So selection pushes both sexes into producing and choosing ever brighter males. Only when the disadvantages in terms of surviving for long enough to reproduce outweigh the advantages in terms of being selected as a mate would this process cease. This is sexual selection and it has its origins in Darwin's idea of female preference. As a theory it raises far more questions than it answers, but then then all the best scientific theories 